What you see depicted here are the different steps of the nuclear fuel cycle. After the uranium has been mined, it will be concentrated in a uranium enrichment facility. The enriched uranium is then fabricated into nuclear fuel elements, which are the main constituents of the nuclear reactor in which we produce the electric power. After the use in the reactor, the spent nuclear fuel will either be stored or reprocessed to take out the uranium and the plutonium, whereas the high-level active waste will go into a final storage. Now, there can be also occasions that nuclear material is not anymore under control, either because it failed in the inspections, it escaped from the inspections, or it has been produced in a clandestine manner. The Joint Research Center from the European Commission has developed a number of technologies to safeguard the nuclear fuel cycle. This is a container used in enrichment processes. This is used to transport uranium in and out of the enrichment processing area. Diverted enriched uranium could be used for weapons. It's of extreme importance that we know that the empty container that comes in comes out again filled. So no one would be able to substitute this container in the processing area and use the material for non-declared activities. JRC Institute for Transuranium Elements Solution is based on three-dimensional laser scanning of the container's surface. Irregularities cannot be faked and remain intact even under extreme environmental conditions. Once the data is processed, each uranium cylinder is identified through its unique 3D fingerprint. The system here has all the references that were acquired previously as a reference. For every cylinder that passed this system, the 3D fingerprint will be analyzed. The correct one will, for instance, look like this. And this will be an image of a cylinder which is not the right one. This laser-based identification is currently used in Japan. Once the fuel element is fabricated, we need to follow its life from cradle to grave. It might happen, hopefully not, that some nuclear material gets out of control and could de eventually disappear from the nuclear installation where they are. And here is where it comes in play, the detection equipment deployed at border or strategic point to detect the illicit trafficking of nuclear material. This is the testing laboratory for nuclear detection equipment, like the portal that you see behind me. These portals are meant to detect the passage of radioactive material. The mobile track simulates different transit speeds for pedestrian or vehicle situations. The position of the radioactive source on the trail will simulate a hand luggage height or lorry. Various radioactive sources, unavailable elsewhere, from nuclear to medical material, will be used. This allows uh, to help the national authority that want to purchase and deploy this instrumentation in uh, seaport, airports, land borders or other strategic points to have a sort of assurance that they behave as expected. Nuclear spent fuel like this one is an irradiated material and must be carefully accounted from when it leaves the reactor to final disposal. So we use our ultrasonic seals to secure spent fuel containers into underwater storage ponds. So you have to imagine that we are in the pool. There are six or seven meters of water above us. This metal rack is intended to secure spent fuel bundles during their storage. Here, JRC ITU's contribution consists in preventing the removal of the cover for material diversion. So now the seal is installed. Now the operator will put the reading head above the seal. The inspector above will be able to read the seal and to record the unique signature and to put it into the database. This ultrasonic seal is a JRC patent. So it's based on an assembly of, of discs. You see there are cavities. They are assembled together randomly to form this assembly of disc you see here. Here on the computer you have the signature of the seal, which is unique. And here this zone is where the inspector can see the integrity of the seal. 
This is the unique signature of a seal. If someone tries to open it, the so-called integrity rod breaks. The signature will remain the same, except for the integrity zone. Designed and produced in-house, some 700 JRC seals are currently used in France, Romania, Pakistan and Canada. Reprocessing plants produce material that might be used for weapon programs. For that it's very important that we verify the original design of the facility, but also that we keep track of all the changes on time. For that we have developed a laser-based technology that is able to detect the millimeter change in this very large facility. The 3D laser system makes it much easier for nuclear inspectors to check if a complex nuclear installation matches its declared design. But the system is also quite a special tool for the training of new inspectors. For example, we are training them and to see the difference in that area of the facility. For example, if someone has moved some of these drums, and this is what we say it's expected scenarios, but also we have to train them for unexpected scenarios. Did something happen that is out of normal that it happens? And what, for example, of on the things when we are explaining to them, did they find, for example, that seal? You know, that's not normal in a nuclear facility that you will find a seal. So if you are not, let's say, your mindset to try to find a seal, you will maybe not find them. Within two hours, data processing begins. The result is an astonishing 3D display of the facility. The strength of the technique is that in a few minutes you can have the inspection and immediately we'll give you a highlight of the, the points that have changed. Saving time for the inspectors, accurate down to four millimetres, the technology has proven to be both efficient and effective. In addition to the Technologies deployed for the fuel cycling operation, we also develop technologies to, for instance, monitor nuclear sites which are under construction, like you see here. We have, for instance, reconstruct the entire interior design of the tunnels, which in this case goes several hundred meters underground. What is important for future generations is to make sure there are no hidden accesses or backdoors which could give access to the nuclear material which will be stored in these galleries. Protecting the present, preserving the future. JRC ITU has no hidden back doors, just a transparent front door, always open to Europe's citizens. <laughs>